Okay, here we have Sam and Rachel uh, coming to the end of their Gap Force Thailand adventure. Where are you from, girls? Uh, we're from America. I'm from North Carolina. I'm from California. Good. Okay, um, so we're currently on Koh Samui. It's one of our last destinations on the trip. Can you girls tell me what's been your funniest moment of the trip? Funniest moment? That's so hard. There's been so many. Um, uh, I think when we were on Koh Tao, our last, last night in the hostel, there was this weird buzzing noise. And everyone oh was really grumpy because it was late and we were all tired. But Sam was like, what the heck is that noise? And no, no, that was Khalees. Okay, well, they don't know <laughs> Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, and finally we turned on the light and there was this bug, probably this big, just chilling in Bigger. our room. I wouldn't even qualify it as a bug. It was like a bug rat. And we all kind of freaked out and had a moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, my funniest moment was probably when we were in um, Kanchanaberry at the Elephant Sanctuary and we went to meet the baby elephants who were there and they took the baby boy out of his little pen and we were like walking around outside with him, he was rolling in some mud and I started to kind of like rub him and then all of a sudden he was charging me, like trying to play I think, but like charging me, pushing me, I was covered in mud from literally head to toe and he was just taking his little trunk and like and then there's a picture where he's like finally running away and I'm just standing in the back like what just happened covered in mud and he's like <laughs> smiling as he runs off and that would be my funniest moment. Very good. Okay, and um, what would you say your fondest memory will be of this trip? Fondest memory? Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that, well, at some point in the trip we all decided that we were going to make this playlist that had everyone's two favorite songs on it and we were sitting around at the Elephant Sanctuary one night and um, we were all like sharing our favorite music and it was so fun, but at one point like everyone was just belting out the words to life is a highway and I just looked around and I was like, wow, I'm just so happy right now. And it's like, I mean, I could be anywhere in the world, but it's really like people who have made it. So I think the fondest memory will be like that moment with these specific people. Yeah, kind of similar, but um, for me, there's been a couple times where we're just all like on the beach on these islands in our last couple days and just kind of like laying in the sand with everybody, like listening to the ocean and just thinking like, wow, like I'm in Thailand right now and like I've been here for a month and I didn't know any of these people and now they're some of my best friends and it's just so surreal just realizing that. Except <laughs> Rachel. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, definitely the people are what makes it. So just taking those moments to really realize that, like that's the things that I'm going to remember in 30 years. That's lovely you too. Um, and so would you uh, would you recommend this trip to anybody? Yes. Yes. Have you got any do's and don'ts that you would advise people wanting to book onto um, this trip? Don't pack as much as I did. Uh, that was a terrible idea. Um, definitely pack light because, the, okay, so they'll tell you you need like two or three t-shirts. That's a lie, you need more than that. But no. don't bring like 12 like I did. Um, just bring like a couple things. You really don't need a lot of nice clothes. And uh, get one of those bags that like unzips on the side so you're not like constantly having to take everything out. Um, do turn off your phone. Um, just embrace like the moment you're in and don't try to constantly talk to people at home because they're still going to be there when you get back um, but you're never going to have the same experience again so really just like disconnecting and embracing where you are and not you know focusing on oh I miss home oh I miss these people but instead like be thankful for the people in the place you're in <laughs> yeah, nothing to add to that? Um, oh, I would say like one thing for me was there'd be mornings when our leaders would be like, hey, we're going on an early morning hike, and one of them I didn't go on, and I really regretted going on it. So I'd say like all the optional activities, just like embrace all of those. Yes. Like you're not going to want to wake up at 3 in the morning, but I definitely regretted not going on that hike. So you kind of just have to tell yourself throughout the trip, wherever you are, like you're never going to be here again. Or like if you are just not in the same way so just really like take advantage of all those moments yes awesome thanks girls uh, look forward to <laughs> seeing you again on another gap force trip yeah so
Sounds good. <laughs>